Hey there guys and welcome back to another FPV Guide video. As you know this week I'm hanging out here at NAB 2017 looking at new drone things and there's a lot of shake up going on in the market and I keep thinking probably some of the most interesting thing right now is the companies that's not here but also most interesting is the companies that's here and bringing in new stuff and in this case here Craig at PowerVision is showing me the Power Eye, which I looked at at Interdrone 2016. You'll remember they released the new Egg and also the Power Eye at Interdrone. The Power Eye is essentially what my X5 camera does on my Inspire, but at a more agreeable price point. Yeah. It, DJI probably has the same number of lenses. I think the big issue here is we can get into this for less. Yes, exactly, for much less. And, and you, we gotta give you guys credit. Yeah. Because I'm gonna pick this up yeah, and ahead. show you guys. Right up here we have obstacle avoidance. Then we have a pilot camera underneath. Yep. And this was on the power eye. In the beginning, yeah. In the beginning, yeah. and this was announced before the Inspire 2. Right. So you guys didn't lift that feature anywhere. You no. guys are actually doing your own product development. And that's why we take a lot of pride in our products is because we're trying to be different than everything else out there. You know, we're not making a product that looks anything like anything else and we're trying to do add features to it that no one else is doing at this moment. And maybe if people, you know, um, uh, catch on to what we're doing, that's flattering, you know? It's just something, if we can bring it to market first and have people follow in our footsteps, then we're doing something really well. And there's another feature I really like here. If you can see oh, yeah. my finger, there's a twist wheel down at the bottom right there. And when you twist this, I just literally took my Micro Four Third lens that I fly on my X5 camera. Yep. And a second ago, we had this teeny little lens on here. Yep. And I replaced it with my significantly heavier lens, and it took us about less than 30 seconds to yeah, balance it Yeah, it was out. really quick. <laughs> so it's really easy, you can put different lenses on here, Yep. and I would say physical requirements, we can definitely fly a 45 millimeter, Yeah. but we can probably also fly larger lenses because of the built-in balancing system. Yeah, and that didn't take you very long. I mean, obviously you slide that little slit right up in there and it, it balanced it out when we turned it on. Yeah, that was easy. That was super nice. Now, so we have got retractable landing gear. Yep. And it's basically two sticks. So normally we're used to like a T or something. Yeah. And this is just two sticks that just pops up. Yep, exactly. And if we turn this over, ah, there you go. It, it's kind of big and it's kind of heavy. What we see here back on these two tail feathers, this is your ultrasonic altitude so that when you get too close to the ground, it is going to drop the landing gear. And we also up here, you have the down-looking camera yep. that prevents the aircraft from drifting at close, when you're close to the ground. Right. And finally, we actually have a carry handle up here, yep. which I'm not getting any benefits out of because I'm standing here carrying <laughs> it by the landing gear. <laughs> and if we turn it around here, yes. then we can open up here, and in here is our battery, battery compartment. And it actually is very easy. There's a little handle down here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to just yank. And here comes our battery. Yeah. It's a monster brick. <laughs> and in order to make it legal to fly with this, right. this is two batteries that goes into a cradle and becomes one battery. Right. The, and, and and also for shipping like we talked about earlier. Yes. Yeah. So this way here, this is still a street legal battery, yep. but this is one way to put a very large battery in a quad. Exactly. How long, what kind of flight time are we getting? Um, I, so I flew it all last week while I was making these promotional videos that you're watching, and I was averaging 26 and a half minutes. 26 and a half. Yep. That's, that's very accurate. 26 and I- Did you read that I, on the No, I did sheet? it, um, no, I did it on the, my phone. So I started my phone timer when right. I took off, and when I landed, I stopped the phone timer. It was 26.43. I'm what into it was. picture phone. 26.43. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're looking at a north of 20 minutes of flight time on yes, this aircraft. for sure. And that's with the Micro Four Thirds camera. With the Micro Four Thirds camera. And, and that's me pushing it. That's not just like going up, you know, 400 feet. Not just and hoovering? Then, yeah. That I was... I was actually moving, I was at Bixby Bridge, and I was, you know, really- Oh, that's a beautiful yeah, place. Yeah, 30, 35 mile an hour winds, too, How at was the that wind? day. It was 30, 35. That's a lot of wind, and that one of the benefits of a heavy quad, a heavy aircraft, 
is it penetrates in that wind. Yes. So if you have a really light aircraft, it needs to do that yep. to hang there. But this a thing. heavier aircraft just needs to lean a teeny bit yeah. to maintain that. Yeah, wind. even going into the wind um, boat, I was pushing it hard and it wasn't really dipping. It was staying wow. very level. Now, I noticed you guys have added these lights on the yeah. front. Yep, those are the new lights. So there's been a lot of development going on since, since Indoor the, Drone. September last year, a ton of development is happening. Yeah, I mean, I can tell there's a lot of refinement that's gone into this. Yeah. When do you think we're going to be seeing these on the market? Okay, so like, we have the our, our first two production models are coming to uh, the United States right now. So I should have those middle of next week, and then we'll get one for you for an unboxing in the first flight, and then uh, we're looking at a late June shipping date for customers. So in the June, you guys should be able to see the actual product and put in orders and fly. Yeah, exactly. And you can, of course, what is your guys' website? It's uh, www.powervision.me, not com. M-E. That's like my um, Apple phone yes, email. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so powervision.me and hit the contact form and they'll probably get hold of you? Yeah, exactly. You can hit the contact form and they'll get a hold of you. And also on the website, this is, um, I think it's available for pre-sale. So you can actually put in a pre-order now. Yeah. We're going to get a video up talking about it. I'm going to do some actual camera tests. Yep. We're going to look at the resolution. Yep. We're going to look at how it works with different lenses. Yep. So we're going to be kind of sitting in the studio and just fiddling with it together and figure out how this really works for us. Well, so there you have it. We've got more Power Vision products. We're going to take a quick look at the Power Ray. Yep. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos here from NAB 2017. Yes.